Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. rejoice in you give us again the joy of your help with, with your spirit, spirit of freedom sustain us god make our hearts clean 
Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 98 Sing to God a new song, for God has done marvellous things revealing true salvation in the sight of all the nations. God has remembered the trust and care promised to faithful people. All the ends of the earth have seen God's saving power. Sing out your joy, all the earth. Break into songs. Sing praises. Praise God with the lute and harp strum out beautiful melodies. Praise God with trumpets and horns, let them make a joyful noise. Let the sea and its creatures roar, let the world and its people shout. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hilltops sing for joy. Praise the God who comes to judge the earth with justice and govern its people with fairness. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from St John's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 41 to 51. At this the Jews began to grumble because Jesus said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. They said, Surely this is Jesus, Joseph's son. We know his father and mother. How can he say, I have come down from heaven? Stop complaining among yourselves, Jesus told them. No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has listened to the Father and learned from him comes to me. I do not mean that anyone has seen the Father, he who has come from God has seen the Father, and he alone. In very truth I tell you, 
Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, yet they are dead. I am speaking of the bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats it will never die. I am the living bread that has come down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. The bread which I shall give is my own flesh, given for the life of the world. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. God of all creation and of all creatures, we pray today for the peacemakers, for the seekers of justice, 
for people of goodwill who risk much and sometimes their lives to stand in solidarity across many dividing lines and barriers. We pray for those who have loved, lost loved ones to violence and for safety, security, human rights and dignity for all, not just for some. We pray for the courage to continue working together for a world of justice, peace and equality. Loving God, hear our prayer. On the 20th day of the month, we pray for racial justice and the rights of indigenous peoples. And we pray for the following countries and their peoples. Taiwan, Japan, North Korea and South Korea. We pray also for members belonging to the family group of Yorkshire Three, Joanna Anderson and Peter, Diana Carroll and Sarah Lamming, Rosie Coles and Roger, Ros Davies and Kerry with Bethany and Rachel, and for members belonging to the family group of Mersey, Stuart Blackledge and Liz Delafield with Robert, Monica Bolton and Alan Mould, Gordon Cottle and Sylvia Cottle, Alison Marshall and Peter Marshall, Muriel Snell and Marna Watson. On the 20th day of this month, we pray for associate members in England North West, Cumbria and North Lancashire. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, May we preserve, preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and, and if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continues still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We, we will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. 